Hello everyone, welcome to the channel of Mr. Math. Now in this video, I will be discussing with you about parallelogram and also rhombuses. Now, the first question is of course, what is a parallelogram? So a parallelogram is a quadrilateral in which opposite sides are equal and parallel and opposite angles are equal. Now, let's take a look at how it looks like. So this is a parallelogram. Let's name the parallelogram A, B, C, D. So as we can see here, in this parallelogram, A, B is parallel to D, C. And A, D is parallel to B, C. So we've got two pairs of parallel sides and angle DAB is equal to angle DCB and angle ADC is also equal to angle ABC. So the opposite angles are equal. So those are the characteristics or properties of a parallelogram. And then there comes a question. Is a rhombus actually a parallelogram? Many have asked these questions before. And now let's take a look at this rhombus. Let's name the rhombus E, F, G, H. So to know if a rhombus is actually a parallelogram, we have to take a look at the properties of the rhombus. Now, as you can see in this rhombus, EF is parallel to side HG, and EH is parallel to FG. And what about the angles? So angle, e, uh, angle HEF is equal to angle HGF, and angle EHG is also equal to angle EFG. So is it a parallelogram? Let's go back to what a parallelogram is. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral in which there are two pairs of parallel sides and the opposite angles are equal. So in this rhombus, we have two pairs of parallel sides, that is EH, parallel to FG, and also EF, parallel to HG. So the first property of parallelogram is fit. Now, how about the second? property that the opposite angles are equal. As you can see here, angles at vertices E and G are equal, and angles at vertices H and F are equal too. So yes, a rhombus is a parallelogram, but with a special characteristic, which is all the sides are equal. All right, so now, what are the similarities of a rhombus and a parallelogram? Of course, both a parallelogram and a rhombus have four sides in which the opposite sides are parallel or two pairs of parallel sides. And in both quadrilaterals, they have four angles in which the opposite angles are equal. And of course, all the angles in both a parallelogram and a rhombus add up to 360 degrees. As a matter of fact, all quadrilaterals have 360 degrees as the sum of the angles. And the last one, knowing one angle is enough to find the other three angles in both quadrilaterals. Now, let's take an example of this par uh, parallelogram ABCD. Let's say 
angle at vertex A is equal to 70 degrees. Now, using the second property here, that opposite angles are equal, then we know that angle at vertex C must also be 70 degrees. All right. Then what about angles at vertices D and B? Then 70 degrees and 70 degrees together add up to 140 degrees. Since we know the sum of the angles in the parallelogram is 360 degrees, so 360 degrees minus 140 degrees, that is equal to 220 degrees. Now, these 220 degrees must belong to angles at vertices D and B. So we divide that by two, then we know each of them is 110 degrees. The same goes to the rhombus. In rhombus EFGH, let's say the angle at vertex F is equal to 135 degrees. So first thing we know is opposite angles are equal. So angle at vertex H is 135 degrees too. Now, what about angle at vertex E? Now, um, as we know that angles between parallel sides are supplementary. So 180 degrees minus 135 degrees is 45 degrees. Then the opposite angle of angle at vertex E is angle at vertex G, which must be 45 degrees too. Okay, so knowing one of the angles is enough for us to get the other three. And then what are the differences between a rhombus and a parallelogram? Now, first of all, a rhombus is a quadrilateral with all equal sides. So all the four sides are equal. Well, that is not the case in a parallelogram. And when the diagonals in a rhombus intersect, they intersect at right angles. So diagonal HF intersect with diagonal EG at right angles. So all the four angles here are right angles. Okay, well, in a parallelogram, the diagonal um, DB and AC do not intersect at 90 degrees. This is not 90 degrees. All right. And the next difference is that the diagonal of a rhombus always divides it into two congruent isosceles or equilateral triangles. So as you can see here, when the diagonal, um, let me change the highlighter. So let's say this is diagonal HF. It divides the rhombus into two isosceles triangles, triangle HGF and HEF. And because the sides of a rhombus are all equal, it forms an isosceles triangle. But if we look at this parallelogram ABCD, when the diagonal DB divides it into two, we've got two congruent triangles. But they are not isosceles here because the side DC isn't equal to the side CB. Okay? So, that is the difference between a parallelogram and a rhombus and also the similarity between them. I hope this video helps you understand about parallelogram and rhombus. Then if, um, if you would like to get some other videos about math, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you and bye-bye.